Hi, we're going to talk a little bit about what to do when things go wrong in an online course. So, uh, you know, you're, it, let's say you're a student, you're in an online course, and just like in any class, you're going to have questions. You're not, maybe uh, you didn't quite understand an assignment, maybe you're working on an assignment and there's some technical uh, something that you have to understand, but you don't quite get it. So how do you go about solving these problems in a class? Well, they really mirror the same things you do in a regular class. Um, so the first thing that you do, let's say that, because there are really two types of problems here. Uh, uh, the first type of problem is an instructional problem. So that's a problem you're having where you don't understand something that has to do with the course content. So for example, an instructional problem in an English class might be, uh, what did the author mean in this particular passage? Or what am I supposed to write in response to this assignment? That's, a, that's an instructional problem in English class. What is not an instructional problem in English class is how do I make text bold in this Microsoft Word document that I'm working on for my English class? Do you see the difference there? So the one is an English problem. The other one is a technical problem you're having doing an English assignment. So, so how you handle these problems is going to be different. Uh, so let's talk about a way that you might find something specific to the course. So if I'm in an English course and I have an English question, <clears throat> the first thing I might do is to search the forums. So remember that every course is going to have a news forum. Now I would have gotten emails from my teacher if, if, uh, if the teacher was posting answers to questions in the news forum. Uh, I would be getting those emails uh, in my email inbox and I could just keep up to date on that news just by reading those emails that are coming in from the teacher uh, that is one way that I can already know the answers to these problems the second thing that I could do is I could actually search those forums so I could search for uh, let's say um, how let's say I don't know how long that my post has to be. Let's say that I have to write a response to an English thing. I might say uh, length of post. Okay, and I might search on that. Or words in uh, paper. Okay, I might search in that. Okay, so I might search the forum post uh, where a teacher might have answered a question for another student. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing there when we search the forum post. Okay, so that's that's one way. So so basically, that is uh, looking at information that the teacher has already given out to the class or to other students. Another way that we can uh, find out things is to reread the assignment. Oftentimes, uh, the answers that you have or the the questions that you have about an individual assignment, you know, an instructional question about an assignment, will actually be in the assignment itself. So you might find that just by going back in and reading an assignment you'll find that uh, a lot of times the teacher, if they've gotten a question from a student, maybe they've gone back in and actually updated that assignment even from the last time you read it. So let's say that, that you have a question on an assignment. A really great thing to do is just to go back in and read the assignment. You might, uh, you need, you might need to go up to, uh, to the refresh button and actually reload the page and just take a look for any updates to the assignment. Okay, the next thing you can do is look for any um, uh, look for any resources inside the course the teacher might have posted. So maybe there there might be some things outside of the lesson that you're on. So let's say, or not the lesson, but the activity that you're in. So let's say this figure it out activity. Uh, let's say that that. Um, you have questions about that you might look in assignments or assignments or resources around that activity so maybe in the in the, just in the resource prior so if I'm having problems in this figure it out activity I might look back in this video or in this learn it directions to find the answers to those problems okay so let's say that you've looked around on your own so you've kind of relied upon yourself uh, for a few minutes actually let's say that now let's let's before we move on to what we do after we've kind of relied upon ourselves let's take an example what if it's a technical question what if it's not a question about a course or what your teacher wanted you to do 
in that case, it's almost always the best. The best thing is almost always to just go ahead and do what? I'm typing something in. Guess what? The best thing to do for any technical problem is to Google it. So if you're having problems uh, making a word bold in Microsoft Word, I would search how to make text bold in MS Word. Okay, look at that. Very first thing. There is so much content online now uh, that pretty much any technical problem that you have with your computer, if it's, a, if it's an error you're getting, type in the error number. If it's something you can't figure out how to do in a program, type in that thing. And you will very quickly be to a lesson or some kind of content that will teach you how to do whatever it is you're trying to do. Uh, so those are our two basic problems that we can rely on ourselves with. So if it's an instructional problem, I'm looking around the course. I'm looking in forum posts. If it's a technical problem, I'm going to Google and searching on that technical problem. Okay, so let's say that I couldn't figure it out on my own. I've relied upon myself. I've looked in the course. I've spent you know a little bit of time uh, on my own. The next, the very next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my classmates. So. I'm actually going to go in and let's say that my teacher has turned on messaging or let's say that I have an email address for one of my students, one of my fellow students in the course. That's the very next thing I'm going to go to. So I would go ahead, I'd click on uh, messaging, I'd click on messages, I would search on the name of a fellow student in the course um, or I would, um, or I would you know, hopefully you know these, you know, some of the people in person, you can actually find some of this stuff uh, in the course page. Your teacher might have had everybody, a great thing that a lot of teachers do is they have everybody introduce themselves as one of the first assignments in some kind of a forum or wiki post. So you would have uh, other uh, contact information for people in your class. So that's the very next thing you do. So after you've relied upon yourself, then you would go ahead and start to ask your question to the other students in the class. Uh, and you'd message any particular student. You might message more than one student. And basically you'd go ahead and you'd ask the people, essentially ask the other students in your class. They may have already asked the question to the instructor. Okay, so you've relied upon yourself. You have asked, uh, you've asked the fellow students in your course. And now it's time, nobody knew the answer, so now it's time to actually address the teacher. Uh, so, so let's go ahead, you might, if there's a form in your class called questions for the teacher or something equivalent uh, in that first very, it, it would be in this very first course topic here, that would be the common stuff for the entire course, you might ask it there. Uh, if, if the teacher has made a form for this particular lesson, you might ask it there. Uh, and then if all else fails, if there's no, if there's, if you've relied upon yourself, if you have Ask the teach, ask the students in the class or in the class that are with you. If you have looked for a forum or some kind of way of asking inside the course, then finally it is time to rely upon the email to the teacher, uh, and that that is the final option. So if if all else has failed, uh, then you will go to your uh, course guide or syllabus, um, locate the. Uh, locate the email address for your teacher in this case it's here you would go to your email client your gmail client or your district email or your your work email and you would email the instructor okay so that's the final option okay so i hope this helps uh how to be resourceful and also how to finally get your problem solved when you're working on a, in a on an online course good luck